You are welcome to IDC Learning Center YouTube channel. For today's video, we will be looking at National Examinations Council 2023 Basic Education Certificate Examination, that's BC Mathematics, the essay part, that's paper 3. But don't you worry, paper 2 and 1 is coming your way. Now, for those of you preparing for Junior Y, this is for you. And even for those of you preparing for 2024, this um, past question will serve as a guide for you as well. The questions we are going to answer are what you can see. This is a question prepared from a pupil or a student that took this exam. Let's go to the very first question in this essay question. This question says, simplify. We have um, one whole number, 1 over 2 times bracket. 2 over 3 minus 1 over 4 plus bracket divided by 1 over 2. The first thing we must do is to respect the board mass rule. We must obey board mass whenever we are solving any fraction problem. So we are going to solve for the 10 in the bracket first. Solving for them, we get the LCM of 3 and 4, which is 12. Three, 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 2 give me 8. I've worked with the first fraction minus work with the next fraction. That's this. The denominator is 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Now bring this down. Change this to a proper fraction. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1. That's 3 over 2 times this term in the bracket, which I've solved down to this part. Divide by, change this to a proper fraction as well. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1, 5 over 2. Continue with the bracket. Bring the term in the bracket down. 8 minus 3 will give me 5 over 12. So this will give me 3 over 2 times 5 over 12 divide by 5 over 2. Now we are done with the bracket. Following the rule of board math, the next aspect we are going to look at is division since division comes before multiplication we use the concept of kcf for division kcf simply means keep the first fraction change the division sign to multiplication the c stands for change and f is for flip so keep change the symbol to times and flip that's the rule whenever you are dividing fraction bring this along so you don't forget it. That's 3 over 2 times. Now apply the KCF. Keep the first fraction. 5 over 12. Turn division to times and flip this fraction. 2 goes up, 5 comes down. Okay? Now, 5 year 1, 5 year 1, 2 year 1, 2 into 12, 6. 3 year 1, 3 into 6, 2. So we have... 1 in the numerator, 2 times 2, 4 in the denominator. Our answer is simply 1 over 4. So you can practice this as much as you can and just make sure you arrive at the same answer with me. Okay, question 1b says, A piece of wood is 220 centimeters long. If 66 centimeters is cut away from the wood, what percentage of it remains? bring out your numerical values the wood itself is um 220 centimeters long now cut off or cut away a part was removed which is 66 centimeters the part that is remaining remain will be 220 minus 66 Borrow 1 from 2, 2 reduces to 1, put it here, 10. 10 minus 6, 4. Borrow 1 from 2, 1, put the 1 here, 11 minus 6, 5. Then bring down the last one. So if you subtract, we'll have 154 centimeters. The question says, what percentage of it remains? So the percentage that is left is 154 out of the total length, which is 220 centimeters, is, is left. Then you times by 100% to express in percentage. So the centimeter cancels the centimeter. Zero cancels zero. 
2 into 22 is 11, 2 into 10 is 5. 11 year 1, 11 into 15 is 1 remainder 4. Put it here, this is 44. 11 into 44 is 4. So my answer will just be 14 times 5. 5 times 4, 20 is 0 carry 2. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2. So 70% is remaining. Alright, the essay part, um, as you can see here, is just two questions. I've handled the first one, which is 1A and 1B. So it will just take us straight up to question 2. Question 2 says, the table below shows the ages of children in a particular orphanage. We have the ages in the table and the number of children below the ages. Use the information to find the what? The mean. How do you get the mean? To get the mean, you simply add up all the numbers and divide by how many they are. Well, this would be a lot of work. Number of children that are age 1 are 10. So you just have 1 in 10 places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Number of children that are age 2 are 15. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Number of children that are age 3 are 21. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Number of children that are age 4 are 20. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Number of children that are age 5 is 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Number of children that are age 6 is 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Alright, now I have displayed the number, total number of children we have here. Remember I said for me, you need to sum up everything and divide by how many they are. Now, if you gently sum up all I have here, is going to give you, let me calculate the mean here, mean is going to give you about 371. Now, divide by, if you count the numbers 1111, there are 100 of them. 100 into 371 is 3 whole number, remainder 71 over 100, so this is the mean. Now, the next thing we need to calculate is the median. Let me look for it here. The median, which is number 2. Median simply means the middle number, if you are arranged from the smallest to the biggest, or biggest to the smallest. Now, if you count from 1 down, the middle number should be around is um, 4 and 4. Let's see, how many 1s do you have? 10. How many 2s do you have? 15. At the end of 2, you have 25. How many 3s do you have? 21. That's 25 plus 21. That's um, 46. At the end of 3, 47, 48, 49, 50. This is 50. Count backward from 60, you get 50 again. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 divided by 2 will give you the mean, which is 4. The next is the mode. The mode is the one with the highest frequency. As you can see, 3 is the highest frequency because the number of children that are age 3 are 21. That is the most. So the mode here is 3. Let me write it in front of the mode. And the range 
is simply the highest number minus the lowest number. The highest number is 6. 6 minus the lowest number, which is 1, we give you 5. The range is 5. Thank you very much for staying with me. This is the essay, Junior White essay. Subscribe to this channel if you've not done so, as I'm bringing how we will be bringing the objective questions, which will be paper 1 and 2, for you to learn how to go about answering all those questions. For now, bye.